Hi, my name is Lindsay Lee Bradford. I am from South Texas, a very small town in South Texas. Um, I met Dr. Hugh about six years ago. It was a random phone call that my parents received from a lady who had heard about me and having RP. And she had been up here to see him, I think maybe twice. And she just called and said, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I met a doctor who I think can help you. So I'm the type that I was like, well, sounds good. I'd never been to Vancouver before. So I packed my bags about two weeks later, did no research, and came up here. So like I said, that was about six years ago. Um, at that time, I was getting my prescription changed about every three to four months, I guess. Um, I was having a lot of problems with my peripheral vision, but the worst thing was eye pain. I was having major eye pain, and all the doctors said that it had nothing to do with RP. They ran CAT scans, MRIs, and everything else, and said there was nothing they could do for it. So anyway, that was my real reason for coming. Um, after the first set of probably three treatments, I no longer felt the eye pain. And that, for me alone, was enough right there to convince me. Um, I started feeling a lot better as far as my eyesight, but I didn't notice a lot of changes the first couple of trips that I made, but my family started seeing a lot of, you know, me not hitting things and, and doing different things that RP patients do. So I continued to come. Um, it took, you know, a couple of trips up here, but I now, since it's been, like I said, six years or so, have not had to have my prescription changed. Um, I'm seeing about 20, 30, reading some 2020 on the eye chart, have no eye pain whatsoever. Um, my night vision is incredible for someone with RP. Uh, the doctors had told what, me... What can you do at night? Can you, can you walk by yourself at night? Yeah, pretty much, except for if there's no light at all, of course, you know, even the normal person or mm -hmm. normal sighted person can't do that. Um, for example, last night, the hotel that I'm staying in, their fire alarm went off, and so we all had to evacuate. There was very little light. I made it around the building by myself. We had to climb a fence because the fence was locked. I had no problem doing that. So, I mean, for someone with RP, I think mm. I'm doing amazing. Um, How's the field? How's your field of vision? The field is good. I can see pretty much all my hands. The only difference is right here, I have a little bit of a donut, but since coming to see Dr. Yu, I can see through that now. Um, I can tell something's there. Sometimes I can make out what it is, sometimes I can't make out what it is. It just kind of depends on my body, how tired I am, that type of thing. But um, And before the treatment, uh, is you can all see through that? Before the treatment, I was having a really hard time. Um, my eye doctors back in the States had told me to quit driving. Uh, two years ago, I took the driver's test again. I had no problem, passed it. You passed the test? Yes, I passed the test. Um, for example, last week, I took my five-year-old niece and three of her friends to soccer camp 30 minutes away, had no problem driving, felt very comfortable driving. Um, I go and do whatever needs to be done. How's the color vision? The only time I have problems is sometimes with navy and with black. Um, I own a t-shirt shop. We make promotional material. Sometimes that's a problem, but my customers understand. If it's really good lighting, I can see no problem. Um, if it's poor lighting, sometimes I have a problem. But to me, that's really not my mm. company. You, you, you have a, a glare to the sunlight still? When I started taking the treatments, I couldn't walk outside without my sunglasses. Um, where I stay here in Vancouver, it's about a mile walk because I enjoy walking. To the clinic. Um, yesterday it was sunny. I'm kind of psycho, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to wear my sunglasses because of the sun, and I had no problems walking here without my sunglasses. So no, I mean, glare doesn't bother me near as much as it used to. How the dark adaptation? If you go from sunlight to dark room, how long take you adapt? Uh, really, I mean, not as long as it used to either. Sometimes when I go into a dark restaurant, you know, my eyes need time to adjust, but I think anyone with normal vision, the eyes need time to adjust also. Um, but for me, you know, growing up with RP, I can definitely see a difference now compared to when I was younger. Um, I feel more confident and my vision is definitely much better. Um, thankfully, 
since we've been at it, Dr. Yu and myself, for so long. Um, I'm now coming every four months, only five days for the four months, well, every four months. So, you know, I feel good. I mean, I'm pretty stable. We are now trying to reverse the disease. Um, I have absolutely no fear anymore as far as going blind. Um, you know, used to, I just would think about it all the time, and now it doesn't even cross my mind. So, um, I would suggest if anyone has the ability to come, definitely come because it will change your life.